Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question says that Hamid, he has built a cubical water tank. So you see, this is the cubical water tank that he has built. It has a lid. So that means top is there. The top is there. Right? So you see, a particular cuboid has six sides. And in some question we have seen the lead is not there, so we take care of only five sides. So this the lead is there, and with each outer edge 1.5 meter. So each edge is 1.5 meter. Right? This is a cube. So all the sides are 1.5 meter, and this lead has to be taken care. He gets the outer surface of the tank, excluding the base. That means the base is not there. So we have 4 plus 1, 5 sides. So 5 sides of Q to be built. Okay, because the base is not required. Or it has to be covered with square tile. It has to be covered with Quadrants. And each side is 25 centimeter. Please note this is meter, this is one is meter, one is centimeter. So let's convert everything in centimeter to be on C side. So 1.5 meter is nothing but 150 centimeter. So let's cross this and we'll make it 150 centimeter. So I'll make it to delete this. Maybe I'll write here 150 centimeter is this edge and each of these square tiles is 25 centimeter it's 25 okay so we have to find the uh, total cost for the tiles is the cost for per dozen that is per 12 piece 360 is the cost so before finding the total cost, we have to find the number of tiles required to cover the whole tank. This is a tank and dimensions are given. This is a cubical tank and only five sides has to be covered. So there are so many important things to be noticed in this question. One is the units are different. Second is it is cubical. Third is the lid has to be taken care of the base should not be uh, taken care so there are five sides so this five sides you should have you should apply some brain and thinking to come up with five sides and then once we have come up with the number of tiles required then the per dozen cost is given right so with per dozen cost we'll find the cost of one tile and then you can find the total cost so let's first find the surface area of the tank to find the number of tiles required so surface area to be covered right or to be tiled is 5a square where a is the side because each side is a square and there are 5 sides 5a square and we put the values and we will put everything in centimeter 150 into 150 this becomes centimeter square this is the surface area of the uh, tank to be covered and to be covered okay now let's find the surface area of the tiles or area of the tiles here tiles we are assuming it in two dimensional figure uh, depth we are not considering it and this is a square tiles and please note this is square tiles so it will become 25 in a square right or let me say side square let's not use the same uh, variable and the side is 25 so this becomes 25 into 25 and this becomes centimeter square. So what is the number of tiles required? Number of tiles required will be what? Surface area of tank to be tiled tiles here covered with tiles by area of each tile put the values 
5 into 150 into 150 this is centimeter square and this is 25 into 25 this is also centimeter square it means it gets cancelled and you saw this you will get 180 tiles as the answer so 180 tiles are required now we have to find the cost so cost of 12 tiles is how much 360 one dozen therefore cost of 180 tiles will be how much 360 by 12 that is cost of 1 tile into 180 that is cost of 180 tile unit is in rupees put the value rupees okay so this becomes 15 15 into 360 you it comes out to be 5 4 double 0 this is the total cost required for tiling this particular cubical water tank in five side please pay attention in this question there are so many concepts to learn here first thing is the units are in different uh, they are different units uh, some are in meter some are in centimeter we understanding this question we have to come out uh, we have to understand that five sides of this cubical tank has to be covered then it has to be covered with square tiles dimensions are given we have to find the number of tiles once we find the number of tiles we have to find the cost to find the cost also they have not given the cost of per tile they have given the cost of per dozen right so with that you have to first find the cost of one tile and then you have to find the cost of 180 tile okay a plastic box 1.5 meter long 1.5 meter wide 65 centimeter deep so if you see here here we have meter and centimeter units are different right so note that is to be made okay it is to be open at the top the top is not there only five sides so here also let me write five sides or let me write these concepts here five sides let's not waste space here Okay. Ignoring the thickness of the plastic sheet, determine the area of sheet required for making this box. So we will assume that the plastic sheet has no thickness, we have to find the area of the sheet required to make this box. And we also have to find the cost of the sheet if the cost of 1 square meter is given. So if you see most of the units are in meters. So let's convert this also into meter. So 0.65 centimeter will become 0.65 meter. Okay, 65 centimeter is nothing but 0.65 meter. Okay, so I just made everything in meter. So one part is resolved. Now if you see, now here we have to understand which is length, which is wide, and which is Bread. So we know that as per convention, this side is length, this is bread, and this is height. And this will be used here because one side is missing, and this is a cuboid. You and it is mentioned that the top is missing. So if you see, top is missing. So what will be the dimension on the top? To know that, we should know the convention. So length is 1.5 meters. Let me put the values here, 1.5 meter. Width is 1.25, breadth is 1.25. And the height is 0 0.65. Okay, so the value. So now, since the top is missing, so we have to find the surface area. Surface area of open at top box will be what? So if you see, we have to find the area of all these five edges. So if you see, this is what? Length into height. So there are two length into height. Two length into height. Correct? This side and this side. Similarly, this side was breadth into height. 
So this side and this side is what? 2 breadth into height. What about the bottom part? Bottom part, if you see, it will be length into breadth. Only one. So into length into breadth because this is bottom. Yeah, this is the bottom part. Length into breadth. So looking at this drawing and this, drawing the figure and first writing the conventions, then only we could actually come up with this formula. So very, very important. Please pay attention here why and how we got these values. First, we drew a plastic box without a top. And then we assign these values 1.25, 1.5, and 0.65 meter dimensions we have assigned based on the conventions because we know that the, this side is length, this side is breadth, and this side is height. So with that, and we know that this is the top is open, that is the length and breadth one L into B, this particular uh, rectangular piece is missing. Right? To know that, we have to first create this. Else you will not know which formula to use, right? So you may say I use L into H plus 2BH plus 2LB, right? Because one side has to be missing. But it is not the case. It is mentioned that the top is missing. So what is the dimension of the top? That is L into B. So to know this dimension, we have to do all the circus. Okay. So once we have this formula, we will put the values of this formula to come up with the surface area. So that is 2 into L into B 1.5 into 1.25 1.5 into 1.25 plus 2 into B into H sorry L into H 1.5 into 0 0.65 0 0.65 Okay, okay. Two into B into H this 2 into 1.25 again into 0 0.65 plus L into B L into B is 1.5 into 1.25 and all in meter, so it becomes meter square. Okay, so you saw this. Uh, this becomes 1.95. This becomes 1.625. This is 1.875 meter square. And you saw this further, you get 5.45 meter square. So that is the surface area of this open top right or box open at the top first part is done area of the sheet required is this now we have to find the cost so it is mentioned that one meter square cost of one meter square is what rupees 20 so cost of 5.45 meter square will be what 5.45 into 20 you solve this, you get 109 as the answer. So, 109 rupees is required to create this box. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.